Americans cross deficient bridges 174 million times daily according to American Road and Transportation Builders Association. Over 54,000 of the nation's 600,000 plus bridges were rated structurally deficient in 2018. If placed end to end, they would stretch the distance between Miami and New York City. When it comes to bridges needing attention in America, the will and desire is there to fix the problem as soon as possible. However, there are quite a few factors that go into the repair and rehabilitation of structurally deficient bridges. When officials determine that a bridge is unsafe, they close it to traffic immediately. The fact that a bridge is structurally deficient does not imply that it is likely to collapse or that it is unsafe. It means the bridge is in need of repair and must be monitored, maintained, and rehabilitated or replaced sometime in the future. There are physical and chemical factors involved when a bridge is deemed deficient. You can anticipate the physical factors that affect concrete over time like abrasion and freeze and thaw cycles. Chloride, salts, and sulfates infiltrate concrete over time and cause corrosion of the bridge's structural steel. No matter the cause of a bridge becoming structurally deficient, the greater challenge at present is finding a solution that meets two great challenges, mindset and funding. Challenge one is due to the approach of solving the problem from a short-term perspective. Bridge owners often don't have the mindset to consider the costs of a bridge's entire life cycle. This life cycle includes the initial construction of the structure, maintenance through its lifespan, and necessary rehabilitation as the structure ages. The second challenge, funding, is a chronic problem. The United States has underfunded infrastructure maintenance for decades. There just is no currently identified source for the $123 billion price tag it would take to fix the country's structurally deficient bridges. Departments of transportation and other bridge owners must spread their limited budgets to cover an ever-growing number of structurally deficient bridges, at times leading to cheaper solutions being implemented on more bridges, but costing more in the long run, not including life cycle cost analysis. UHPC Solutions is taking on the U.S. bridge infrastructure issue with a new mindset. We're constantly innovating to ensure we're creating sustainable, cost-effective solutions that solve for the bridge rehabilitation industry. Using state-of-the-art materials and advanced installation methods, UHPC Solutions offers bridge rehabilitation techniques that save money and maximize structure life. Click the link in the description to learn more about structurally deficient bridges.